Palmeiras are a team from São Paulo in Brazil. Their history in the Copa Libertadores, like many South American sides and many Brazilian sides, runs deep. They first won though in 1999 and then again last year. So they are the current title holders. The team itself was founded in 1914 by Italian immigrants to Brazil and that heritage is still important to Palmeiras. Palmeiras are nicknamed the Big Green because of their club's colours, white and green. In one of the first intercontinental club football tournaments, the Copa Rio, back in 1951, Palmeiras attracted worldwide attention by beating Juventus and winning the competition. As FIFA themselves later described it, Palmeiras became football's first intercontinental club champions in front of 100,000 people watching at the Maracanã. A million people flooded the streets of São Paulo to welcome their heroes home. Palmeiras are one of the dominant forces in São Paulo football and because of that are to this day a dominant force in world football. In a way Palmeiras are to São Paulo football what Flamengo are to football in Rio de Janeiro. Palmeiras have produced innumerable great players. They continue to do so. Gabriel Jesus, for instance, at Manchester City, came from Palmeiras. He signed up there as a 17-year-old player in 2013 and became the club's top goal scorer that same year, with 54 goals in 48 matches. Palmeiras are managed right now by Abel Ferreira, a Portuguese manager. They play their home games at Allianz Park. Their style of football is unique, in part because they have a true wealth of young footballers. Gabriel Veron, Gabriel Menino, Wesley, Patrick de Paula, Horny. Most, perhaps all of these players will become household names across the world soon. They tend to play with a single striker, often Horny or Luis Adriano. They can shift between formations quickly and easily. They're a team with pace, genuine speed. They can play patiently, but because of their tactical flexibility and wealth of attacking options, can storm other sides too. Retaining the Copa Libertadores is not an easy task. It's not common. But Palmeiras will be looking to do just that when they play Flamengo in two weeks time in what will be an incredible football game, the 2021 Copa Libertadores final. <laughs>